Hi, I'm Brendan Leddy. I'm an Irish finance expert on a mission to help you live your best and most fruitful life. So top three tips for saving. First of all, instead of using your debit card, use cash because you've got more control over what you're spending. Second, little and often, take small amounts of money, put it to one side and save it. And thirdly, you know what? If you're in doubt about whether to buy something, don't. Instagram and social media promote the perfect lifestyle. The designer clothes, the luxury holidays, the fast cars. But what is the real financial truth behind the people that we love to admire? It's time to find out. This is From Rags to Riches, the show where we look at your bank account, put you back in control so that you can lead the life you've always wanted. I think we're money obsessed because every day we're exposed to social media, to TV, we're constantly seeing Hollywood, the Kardashians, you name it. And I think it's always about money, the glamour, the lifestyle. And I think that we feed into that, we buying into it. One of the biggest causes of stress is money worries. Trying to budget and plan for the future can cause anxiety. So here are five tips to help you combat financial stress. Get talking. There's a taboo about money which just isn't healthy. Remember, a problem shared is a problem halved, and that just sounds like good maths to me. Britain, it's time to get saving. 15% of us have no savings at all, and one in three of us have only 1,500 pounds in savings for a rainy day. So, just how easy is it to save? So I've been working in finance for over 25 years, and on the one hand, I work with the banks to protect their interests, but on the other side, we have the consumer to think about so that when they're looking for mortgages or insurance, they feel that they're properly equipped with the information that they need to make informed decisions. Get the right tools. The financial sector is being disrupted by challenger banks and apps all geared towards helping you have greater control over your cash. And finally, don't be so hard on yourself. Money is emotional and the struggles are hard but you won't be alone. Don't lose your money to online con artists. You can use our tips to identify and avoid fake, fraudulent or scam websites. A lot of fraudulent websites will use a domain name that references a well-known brand or product name, but they won't be the official website. You should also be cautious of domains that end in .net, .org, as they're rarely used for online shopping and alarm bells should ring if you're asked to pay for something online via bank transfer. The most important thing is to put everything into perspective. Family first, friendships first. Obviously you need to work and put money aside for a rainy day, but try and put it into context in terms of what's most important in life.